sometimes you're going to mess up, which leads to this next tip of giving yourself grace. That is something we preach over and over here at Keto Sisters. Yes, we encourage you to make changes. Yes, we want to hold your feet to the fire and we're going to challenge you, but we always offer grace. Want a simple way to cut carbs without complicated meal prep? Grab our free Fast Start to Keto kit today. Hey guys, this is Rebecca here with Keto Sisters. Welcome to another episode of Real Life Keto Radio. And we are continuing our series on different tips that the leaders in our Keto Sisters community have shared with me. A few weeks ago, I asked our leaders here at Keto Sisters to just write a list of their top 10 tips and tricks for their keto low carb lifestyle. I compiled all of those, kind of organized those. I shared two last week. I want to share two this week that also pretty much showed up on almost every person's survey. And then at the end, make sure you stay tuned because I just grouped some things together that I'm just calling mindset hacks. And to me, mindset really is everything. Yes, there are tips and tricks and strategies, and we go over those. And I'm going to share some of those with you. But it's really all about getting things right in between your ears that will help you stick with your lifestyle changes and will help you implement and stick with those tips and tricks. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because I'm saving the best for last. Okay, so the two things that almost everyone put on their survey, number one, use healthy fats. If you don't know what healthy fats are, that's okay. We didn't either when we got started. You can go to our YouTube channel. We have lots of information there where we go into detail more about healthy fats, what those are, what are the fats that you want to avoid. And things that sound healthy might not be healthy. I used to think that anything that sounded like it came from a vegetable, that must mean it's a good healthy oil. Like I, I thought animal fats were bad. I thought vegetable fats, vegetable oils were good. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here other than to say I was pretty wrong. But if you think about it, think about vegetables. Do you think of vegetables generally as being oily? Hmm. If you've never looked into the process whereby they create or extract oils from vegetables, I would just encourage you to maybe do a little research. It's quite a process and it usually involves a lot of chemicals. So I'll just leave that there. But all that to say, you need to include healthy fats into your diet. And doing that can serve a lot of great benefits for you. One of the most, especially for those of you who are looking to maybe lose some of your own fat, maybe around the midsection, is eating healthy fats helps you stay full longer. What does that mean? Well, it takes the body a long time to break down fats and to use it as fuel. So you can think of that as being like coal on a fire and how that will burn for a long time versus kindling, which is what I would say that carbs are more like. Carbs burn really quickly, leave you wanting more. Fats burn slowly for a long time, so you won't need to eat as much. Fats are very calorie dense. There are a lot of calories in fats, but those will help keep you feeling satisfied so you don't feel like you always need to eat. Which leads to the second thing that I'm talking about today, and that's fasting. When you eat healthy fats, you feel full longer, you won't feel the need to eat all the time. You won't feel that incessant need to grab a snack or grab something else to eat. You really won't. When you're eating fat, it will lead to being able to extend your non-eating window. Fasting has so many great benefits. And we actually have dedicated a whole playlist on our YouTube channel about fasting. But that's really a tool that so many of us here at Keto Sisters use. And it's one of my favorite tools because by timing when I eat, I have a lot more flexibility in what I eat. If you were to do like a strict keto lifestyle, maybe eating fewer than 20 net carbs a day, that's really hard for a lot of people, especially for people like me who love pizza and love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but when you're doing fasting on a regular basis and you're expanding your non-eating window and you're compressing your eating window the time that you eat in, you can have a little bit more flexibility in what you eat. So a lot of our Keto Sisters leaders do daily intermittent fasting. Not quite as many, but several of us also try to do periodic extended fast, maybe pushing to 48 or even 60 hours. That is not something I especially enjoy. I don't mind daily intermittent fasting. I actually like it. 
because it frees up a lot of my day. It's a little bit harder for me to push to those 60 hour fasts, but I do recognize the value in doing that. And so do a lot of our other leaders. So. Again, if you want more information on fasting and what all benefits there are, what types of fasting there are, how you can move into fasting, please check out our YouTube channel and we have a whole playlist dedicated to fasting. I do want to mention that we've recently started a group for people who are beginning their journey into fasting. It's a five day commitment to try to extend your non eating window through that five days. It's a product supported thing. So you can be drinking ketones throughout. We have a special protein infused ketone drink that we're using, but we do have a dedicated group. It's a Facebook group where we have a lot of resources, a lot of extra coaching for those that are interested in trying out intermittent fasting and seeing what all the buzz is about. So the two things from your keto sisters leaders that we're talking about this week, healthy fats like MCT oil, healthy fats in avocados, coconut oil, incorporating those into your diet and two, intermittent and extended fasting. But now we're getting to the point where I'm really excited to talk to you about. I made a list of these mindset hacks that your keto sisters leaders have shared and they're incredible. Number one, be mindful of why you're doing this. Why are you on a keto or low carb journey? What motivated you to start that? For a lot of people, it's weight loss or fat loss. That can be a great goal, but often that's not really enough to keep you sticking with the keto diet. What is are some of the other benefits of ketosis? Better energy, feeling better throughout the day, better mood, better digestion, better sleep. Those are the kind of benefits that just help you feel better overall. And when you feel better and you have better energy and you're sleeping better at night and you have better focus, you can see why staying with that lifestyle would be worth it because you just feel better and who doesn't want to feel better? So connecting with your why, having it out in front of you, maybe you're a grandparent. I'm not to that stage yet, but I do have a daughter who's been married for about six months now. And so, you know, that's something hopefully that will be down the road, something I'm privileged to experience. But maybe if you're a grandparent, you just want to have the energy and just to be able to get up and down off the floor to play with your grandkids and to go to their soccer tournaments or whatever activities they're involved in. Just having the energy and the mobility to get around and do the things that you want and need to do, that's a huge motivator. You want to be healthier for your family so that you can live to see your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Or maybe you already have those. Having their picture out in front of you or maybe stuck on the refrigerator can help motivate you to continue to make good, healthy choices for what you eat. Number two, stress management to keep a nice balanced schedule. So most of us, very busy. We're going here, we're going there. We're eating on the run. It can be difficult to make healthy choices. If you're eating on the run, trying to squeeze in exercise, trying to get enough sleep at night, but it's important. It's important to live a balanced lifestyle and living a balanced lifestyle will help you manage your stress, which will not only help you mentally and emotionally, but it can actually have a huge impact on your weight loss or your fat loss goals. If we do not manage our stress, our cortisol levels can rise and that can really train or keep your body in a fat storing capacity, training your body to hold on to your fat instead of burning it. Most people do not want to hold on to excess fat, so it's really important to manage your stress for a fat loss or a weight loss reason, but also just so that you feel better emotionally and mentally. So managing your stress is important and a good way to do that is to live a balanced lifestyle, eating healthier foods, making sure that you're staying hydrated, finding ways to de-stress. Maybe it's doing a yoga class, maybe it's journaling, maybe it's just sitting some time aside for maybe a bubble bath or a massage or reading a book just for fun and having time for exercise and making sure that you make sleep a priority. All of those things lead to a balanced lifestyle and can help you manage your stress. One of our Keto Sisters leaders shared this tip, celebrate the little victories. And I love this. This is something that we really take to heart at Keto Sisters is celebrating those little victories. Okay, maybe you have a huge goal. Maybe you wanna run a marathon. Maybe you wanna lose a hundred pounds, okay? So those big goals, those can be motivating, but they also can be demotivating. If it's too big, you might just think, man, am I ever gonna get there? And you might get discouraged. But if you set up little goals along the way and you celebrate achieving those goals and you set up little 
habits that you want to incorporate. And as you stick with those habits, you reward yourself, you celebrate, then you're a lot more motivated to keep going toward that big goal, toward the marathon, toward losing 100 pounds. Celebrating little victories could look like this. If you're going out to eat and you're eating in a fast food restaurant, could you get a burger without the bun and skip the soda? Those are little victories that I would celebrate. If you're used to going to a fast food restaurant and you get a hamburger on a bun with fries and a soda and a milkshake, and you make some little adjustments, skipping the soda, skipping the bun, I think that's a win. Do you still want to continue to pursue better? Of course. We always want to be in a relentless pursuit of better, but celebrating those little victories along the way. Yes, you can celebrate victories on the scale if you're looking for weight loss and you lose some weight, you can celebrate that. That's awesome. But celebrate the non-scale victories as well. Whether it's sticking with a habit of exercise or more movement in your day or more hydration or taking time for yourself. Maybe you celebrate the fact that your pants don't feel as tight. Even if that scale's not moving, maybe your body composition is shifting. Celebrate all of those little victories along the way and those will fuel you to keep going towards your bigger goals. Along those lines, another of our mindset hacks is enjoying the journey and trusting the process. Sometimes it takes a while for the scale to move. Sometimes it takes a while for you to really establish new habits, new ways of eating, but just enjoying the process, celebrating those little victories along the way, and know that you are on a journey. You're not going to go from couch potato to running a 5K overnight. You're not going to change your diet all of a sudden, just like that by snapping your fingers. It's a daily process. So enjoy it, embrace it, celebrate the little victories, realize that sometimes you're gonna mess up, which leads to this next tip of giving yourself grace. That is something we preach over and over here at Keto Sisters. Yes, we encourage you to make changes. Yes, we wanna hold your feet to the fire and have you stick with things. Yes, our Real Life Keto Challenge will push you to keep making incremental changes and we're going to challenge you, but we always offer grace. So that means if you go out and you have a cupcake at your grandkids' birthday party, it's not the end of the world. If you go out with friends for Taco Tuesday and you have tacos and some chips and a margarita, is that the end of the world? No, it's not. It's just a blip. You may not make the best choices every day. We're human. It's okay. It's okay to mess up and not realize, oh, I ate this candy and I thought it was sugar-free. I thought it was keto friendly, but when I was testing for ketones, it really threw me out of ketosis and I didn't realize it would do that. I didn't realize that some of the sweeteners that were used in it weren't ideal. It's okay to mess up and it's okay to intentionally mess up, to intentionally go off track. Maybe there are a couple of days a week, maybe on the weekend, you want to be a little more free with your eating. That's okay. Give yourself grace. You don't have to be perfect. This is all about progress, not perfection. So I taught a yoga class this morning and a lady raised her hand. She's like, I'm really frustrated. And I was asking her kind of why she was frustrated. She's like, well, I can't get into this position like you do. I can't fully extend and get there. And I'm like, that's okay. And she's like, but I'm not, I'm not in that perfect position. I'm like yoga is not about perfection. It is a process. We are practicing yoga. We're not perfecting it. Same thing with your keto lifestyle. We're practicing it. We're not trying to get perfection. We're just pursuing 1% better. So we're going to give ourselves grace along the way. Whether we mess up by accident or we mess up intentionally because we want to be a little more free at a party or a special occasion, we're going to give ourselves some grace. Another of our mindset hacks is pursuing better with like-minded friends. So a lot of us, when we started our keto journey, maybe our household wasn't on board. Maybe our household has never gotten on board. In the comments, I would love to know, have you been ridiculed for trying to do keto or low carb? I know I have. I know I've had people shut me down and say, I don't want to hear anything about keto. I think it's silly. I think you're crazy. I don't want to hear anything about fasting. I think you're nuts. I've, I've gotten that hand in my face. Okay, that's okay. I don't have to talk about it. I'm just going to keep on being me. But it's great to know that I can come here in the Keto Sisters community among like-minded friends and get support and encouragement. So especially if you are the only one in your household or maybe your office or your friend group, your family who is doing keto or low carb, make sure that you come here to get encouraged and you come here to get recipes or life hacks or tips like we're sharing in these videos. 
make sure that you're being supported by other people who are also pursuing better low carb keto lifestyle. It's so important. It's so hard to do it alone. Make sure that you have support, especially if you don't have that support at home or in your family or friend group. Speaking of all of these tips and tricks, I want you to continue to come back here and we are going to continue this series for several weeks because your ketosis leaders, they have a lot of great tips. And here's a hint. We're going to talk about your shopping excursions and tracking. So make sure you come back next week. All right, that's it for now. Go ahead and choose better. Thanks, guys. Hey, quick question. Have you taken our 21-day real-life keto challenge yet? We've helped thousands create a healthier, happier lifestyle. And we'd love to help you find your real-life keto fit. We'll give you all the info, tools, and support you need to be successful. Join us now for Fun Keto Serious Results.